Hello and welcome friends! Frenzy here bringing you more Kerbal Space Program mod overview. And today we are looking at, that's right, the Deadly Reentry. in case you could not tell. Uh, we're just kind of jumping in right now, seeing this thing burn up. Uh, we have no heat shield whatsoever, so fully expected to burn up. You can see I'm also using FAR and that kind of extended sword. It's causing some interesting aerodynamics. Uh, blows up and the whole thing blows up. Just coming in too hot as it were so we're gonna go ahead and jump back into the VAB so we can kind of show you some of the heat shields there's a few parts that do come with this pack but I think ultimately it's not so much about the parts you see the giant heat shield there which is pretty cool looking though uh, very well done but I, I think I in the end when I'm kind of testing out using a heat shield uh, you'll see that I, I think I went with a procedural parts heat shield so again the parts are cool they're they look cool they look nice but ultimately not necessarily the focus of kind of what we're looking at, which is, you know, that deadly re-entry. Something that we will see in Kerbal Space Program 1.0. So if you want to kind of get used to what it's going to be like to have those re-entry effects exploding your ship and heating them up, this is a great mod to go ahead and latch on. And truly, I think it's probably one of my favorite all-time mods, simply because, you know, it, it gets you to think about... You know that re-entry into Kerbin, or even other at or other planets with atmospheres. So you really have to consider what it is you're doing when you're coming back to the planet. You know you can't send it in straight in like a missile. You really have to think about you know do I need to aero break? You know what will I do? You know do I have enough blade of shielding to aero break several times if I need to? So these are all considerations that you have to think about. Another thing you should note that these heat shields do act as decouplers. So when you actually are, you know, attaching them, and you're thinking about that and you're staging, just know that you probably want to put it at the very end because if you, if you do decide to decouple, it'll probably be the last thing you wanted to couple. I think, like I said, I think I ended up going with a procedural parts heat shield in the end, just because I don't know. I thought it looked cool, but they they do come. The actual mod does come with several, as you saw. Uh, heat shields that you can use and attach to various probes and uh, your spacecraft as well and i think if i'm not mistaken that some of the manned uh, crew capsules also have kind of like integrated sort of um, heat shielding a blade of heat shielding not necessarily a lot but you know if you're just kind of in low orbit you know so sometimes it can survive just just based on its heat tolerance and having maybe some inherent shielding in there as well uh, you'll see I'm kind of just warping up to the point here. Full disclosure, I use Hyper Edit just because I, <laughs> I had to do this a few times to get it correctly. Uh, you'll see me decoupling here. So our heat shield is facing the bottom uh, directional, you know, heat shielding. So you want to make sure you're facing the correct way. Obviously, if the ship is flipped around, the heat shield is not going to be of much use. This is also affected by whatever aerodynamics you're using. So that may be far, could be near, could just be stock. But we'll see some new aerodynamics as well. Yeah, 1.0 is so well, so that's exciting to think about too. And we are starting to heat up finally, which is nice. And some things will explode. That heat shield is not covering every single part. So that is something you have to consider. Parachutes are particularly vulnerable to that. So think about that when you're designing your spacecraft. I think this thing is just going to explode. I think I deployed my chute too early. I also think I ended up losing connection. I'm using remote tech here too, so you see things exploding. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Uh, please feel free to subscribe. I appreciate it. Like it as well if you enjoyed it. Uh, if you disliked it, feel free to do that as well. But if you have any suggestions also, please put those in the comments. I would love to hear what mods you would like me to take a look at. And again, this whole series is trying to give you quick overviews of mods in Kerbal Space Program. If you're more interested, there's some other YouTubers that have really deep, in-depth looks at Deadly Reentry too. So give them a look as well. But hopefully you've enjoyed. And see you guys next time.